Hey, what's going on, everyone? How are you guys doing today? It's Nong here, and welcome back to another Steam 2 video. In today's video, I am once again gonna spread the word of the Dragon Shadow and hopefully convince a couple of you guys to actually use it. Because well, the Dragon Shadow has been amazing for. I, I don't even know when it became amazing. It's been so long since it's been pretty amazing. It actually got better with this season, if you if you could even believe that. Yeah, it actually got better. Just because Bungie changing the way mobility works, and now that is tied to your class ability. So now it makes the Dragon Shadow even stronger, and that's what we're going to be talking about. Okay, so the very first thing that we're going to be talking about is what the Dragon Shadow actually does, in case you guys don't know. And it does a couple of things. It actually does quite a lot of things. So, let's start listing them out. First of all, when you dodge, it reloads all your weapons. It also increases movement speed. By that, I mean it gives you plus 50 mobility. Yes, you heard that right, plus 50. And it also lets you slide farther whenever you slide. So that's pretty nice, especially if you have a shotgun. Just being able to slide farther away. And it also increases weapon handling and weapon reload speed. It pretty much gives any weapon match handling. It gives a quick draw. All the weapons feel very snappy, you're able to aim down sights with them really quickly, you're able to pull them out really quickly, it just makes all the weapons feel amazing. And you also get the extra reload speed, so you can reload them faster. And I know, you know, you reload when you dodge, but if in those 10 seconds that you get the Dragon Shadow buff, you gotta reload again, then you have the extra reload speed, so you can reload much faster. And you get all these things for 10 seconds with the Dragon Shadow buff after you dodge. And 10 seconds may not sound like a lot to you guys, but in the Crucible, 10 seconds, it's a really long time. 10 seconds with all these buffs definitely is going to make a difference. And if you're playing the cards right, you can pretty much activate this buff every 11 seconds or so. So just have like a one minute cooldown to get all these buffs back. And that's what we're going to be talking about now. And the reason why I actually made this whole video which is the way Bungie changed mobility to make the Dragon Shadow just even stronger. So at the beginning of the season, the class abilities were changed a bit, and now they are tied to a specific stat. For the Hunters, it's mobility, for the Titans, it's resilience, and for the Warlocks, it's recovery. The more of that stat you have, the more that you can use the class ability. So everyone just started completely maxing out, if they weren't already, their mobility on Hunters. The thing about that is that not everyone wants to match out their mobility. Maybe they're focusing on recovery and intellect, and they don't want to put all their points towards mobility. And that's where the Dragon Shadow comes in, with that plus 50 mobility. That plus 50 allows us to have 100% mobility and be able to use our dodge. We're still focusing on some of the other stats. We're still focusing on recovery and maybe discipline like I like to do. I like to have my nades back faster. I like to have good recovery. But I also wanted to have my dodge back, so this was the perfect fits. And remember, the Dragon Shadow buff lasts for 10 seconds, so we have one second in between dodges that we just have to wait. As soon as the buff ends, you just gotta wait one second, and then you can get the buff again. And if you find that that one second cooldown is too much, and you always wanna have the dodge ready even before the buff ends, then you can actually run Bottom Tree Arc Staff with focus breathing and that means that you're gonna get your dodge back in about seven to eight seconds so before the buff even ends if you really feel like you just want to dodge all over the place if i wasn't such a big fan of the metal tree arc staff i would definitely be running bottom tree just because of those super quick dodges that you get with it at this point using the dragon shadow kind of feels like cheating you get a fast recharge on the dodge that reloads your weapons and gives you your melee back. You also get quick draw on the weapons, snapshot on the weapons. You get to slide farther away. Crazy how many benefits you have, especially when it's on a one second cooldown. So that's why it really surprises me that I don't really see more people using the Dragon Shadow. It's amazing. I've been using the Dragon Shadow ever since I got that buff in year one that made it into what basically is now the extra mobility plus the reload. And it's been amazing ever since year one, but for some reason it never really gets much attention. It gets a bit more love when you know new stuff comes in sometimes, but 
never really passes, you know, some of the other popular hunter exotics like the Stompies. And I guess the Wormhusk now, since the Wormhusk kind of saw a resurgence with last season and still riding that wave of popularity. I still see the Wormhusk quite a bit. Even with Void Battery not being as popular as Arc Battery this season, I still see the Wormhusk quite a bit. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys, the Dragon Shadow's good. Give it a try. Just give the damn thing a try. <laughs> it needs it needs more love for sure. And I think that if you're looking for use your weapons to feel better, to be able to dodge faster, and just improve your neutral game in general, I think Dragon Shadow might be the exotic for you. But anyways, with that we're gonna end today's video guys. Hopefully all of you guys have enjoyed it. I know it was a short one, but I just really, really wanted to get this out there. Anyways, like I was saying, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Have a good day.